be together. That's her. Lot kept on moving out the city, didn't he? That's the mind you got to have. Folks, let me tell you something. A husband and wife, you going through him. Anybody with any kind of decent heart will want to see their husband or their wife say. But fact of the matter is, they got to save themselves just like you got to save yourself. Isn't that right? You got to care about your own soul. Because in the day of judgment, when God come back here, he going to separate the right from the unrighteous. He going to separate the just from the unjust and the unholy from the holy. And everybody going to have to give account to the deed done in their body. Hey, now you ain't going to pay for what your wife done, but you're going to pay for what you did. You're not going to pay for what your husband did, but you're going to pay for what you did. You're not going to pay for what your children did, but you're going to pay for what you do. Amen. Like anybody, I want my whole family to say, but they're not going to do it. Isn't that right? Right quick, give me Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. Right, let's go back and get the red Bible for me back there in the case. I think it's got on the shelf for it. Mother left her Bible. I thank God for the Holy Ghost, folks. Tell the church now, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end. Isn't that right? You got to be a sober. This is a sober way. You can't go through here drunk. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about not just naturally drunk. You can be drunk with the cares of this world. Right. Isn't that right? I want to be of a sober mind, sober behavior, sober conversation. Isn't that right? It takes something to be saved. Amen. Isn't that right? Be sanctified for the will and the purpose of God. Amen. Isn't that right? All right, listen. This is Romans 10 and 1. Amen. Listen to the book. Brethren. Brethren. My heart's desire. He said, my heart desire. And prayer to God. It's in, a, it's in a red case back there. It should be on the shelf back there, either on my office table back there. He know what I said, you'll get it for. He's going to get it for, Bryce. This is that brother in my heart desire. And prayer to God for Israel is uh -huh. that they might be saved. See, that, that's what Paul said. His prayer was for Israel. Israel was God's people. He said, my prayer for Israel to be saved. But listen to the book. For I bear them record. He said, for I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God. See, you can have an enthusiasm for God, but listen to what he said. But not according to knowledge. That'll mess a whole lot of folks up. And in Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, he said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Amen. He said, because they reject knowledge, God said, I also will reject them. A whole lot of people, God won't receive you when you reject knowledge. When knowledge come, it's going to come through the man of God. Jeremiah chapter 3 at verse 15, he said, And I will give them pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed them with knowledge and understanding. Amen. And folks sit around and reject God, man, and you reject knowledge. Amen. Then you reject God to him. You reject God, man, reject God's word and reject God. There's no way in the world you can be saved. Right. Isn't that right? Amen. God give a hit man, and he's going to get hit man knowledge because he got to feed the flock of God. Amen. Isn't that right? Jump over to 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 1. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Isn't that right? I got some power today. Isn't that right? I, I thank God today I got some power. Amen. Isn't that right? Ain't no liquor store going to pull me over. Amen. Ain't no butt naked women going to pull me over. No strip club. Isn't that right? Ain't no homosexual party going to pull. I got a good mind today. Amen. Isn't that, I thank God for the mind. If I live tomorrow, I hope that God give me the same mind tomorrow. Amen. Isn't that right? Stay in holiness. Right. I don't want to move from This is what God called us to. Amen. When God call you to and you know it right, get in and stay in it. Right. Isn't that right? So don't let nobody shake and move. I know this is right. This ordained of God for the whole nation. Amen. How a man or woman ought to live, how they ought to conduct themselves, adorn your body. It's written in the book. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 1. Amen. Listen to the book. The elders which are among you. And that's what I'm an ordained elder. He said, the elders which are among you. I exhort. Peter said, I'm warning the elder first. Listen to the book. Who am also an elder. Peter said, read, I can warn you an elder because I'm an elder. Amen. Listen to the book. And a witness of the sufferings of Christ. Paul, he, Peter said, I'm a witness of the suffering of Christ. Come on, son. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. What do you want the elder to do, son? Feed the flock of That's God. That's what he get to preach. He ain't get everybody to feed nobody. Isn't that right? He told the elder to feed the flock of God, which is well. Which is among the you. The elder got to be the shepherd. He got to be the overseer. He said, feed the flock of God, which is among you. Taking the oversight there. I, I don't ask the member, y'all want me to teach y'all? Y'all think it's all right? No, sir. You told me to take the oversight thereof. Isn't that right? Be like your children. Go on and go ask them, do you want to eat health or you want to eat some junk? What do you think your kid going to say? Junk? That's why you go in and slap on the face and that's what you eat. Isn't that right? That's what you tell them. This, I know what the people need. Folks are sitting around. Naturally, they be healthy, but spiritually, they be malnutrition. Spiritually, they be sitting around with diabetes. Spiritually, they got cancer. Spiritually, they got AIDS. That's why the other got to know how to feed the flock of God, which is among you. Come on, son. Not by constraint. See, ain't nobody got to make me do my job. Anytime you got to preach, you got to make him do his job. Set him down. Right. I tell all the time, ain't, ain't nothing worse than no mumbling, grumbling preacher, no minute mouth complaining preacher. A preacher ought to be, he ought to know how to take the oversight that role. Amen. He told him not by constraint, but how, son? But willingly. I'm willing to do my job. 
Isn't that right? I ain't trying to sit around and say, you know, one of y'all want to do it their own feel like. No, sir. He told me to do this thing with it. Amen. This is what he said. Not for filthy lucre. And ain't nobody paying me to do my job. That was filthy. Ain't no dirty money make me do what I'm doing. Amen. He said, not for filthy lucre. How you want to do it, son? But of a ready mind. Your mind got to be ready. Isn't that right? Amen. You got to have a, you got to have a mind of Christ. You're going to preach God's divine word. Amen. Isn't that right? Don't go give me 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Thank God for the truth. Let's see what kind of mind Paul said we got. Isn't that right? Amen. We ought to be able to testify to being saved today. Done had some good word coming down through the years. Isn't that right? We got some we can stay. Ain't got nothing we got to be ashamed when you look at the world like him. Amen. You look at the world and look how these folk living, how these folk conduct, conducted. They ought to be the one dropping their head. Sitting around here, they around here, cuz we the who made me feel. No, they ought to feel bad. Your mouth just like a trash can. Woman talking, feel the dread like a prostitute, and you dread holy, and you looking to say, she ought to feel ashamed. Amen. To look at yourself, y'all are doing your body decent. No man want no street walker for no wife. Ain't that wife? And no woman with no good mind ain't looking for no pimp and no drug dealer for no husband. Now that she got a good mind, ain't it? Same thing to me, he got a good mind, he ain't gonna get no prostitute. He gonna want a holy woman. Ain't that right? Proverbs 31 and 10, he said, who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rule. You can't hardly find one. She rare. Thinking you rare, you sit here on your doing back. Oh, he talking about you cute. You just stupid. Make no doing sense these days, these last days sitting right here. Nobody about to care about you on your back. And no brother, you on your bed. She don't love you. You don't even love yourself. Honor your body. Isn't that right? You supposed to be sanctified. Hey, now you're sanctified, you're satisfied. Amen. I'm satisfied with God. Amen. I don't understand everything going on in my life, but I'm if it's all right with God, I'm satisfied. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be no complainer to God. Isn't that Jude talked about how these are complainers and murmurers? God going to destroy all of them. Isn't that right? I'm learning how to sacrifice when I go through him. Amen. Whenever the Lord see fit to do it, just let me say yeah and amen to it, God. Amen. Isn't that right? Just let me say, Lord, let me wait on you. And I don't let my eyes get filled with watching this world like him, Lord. Let me be satisfied. Amen. I know whatever God got going on in my life or going in your life, God working something if you wait on him. Amen. Listen to the book. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world. This is what Paul said we received. A whole lot of folks told me they got a spirit, but is it the right spirit? Paul said, he, now, he said, now we receive not the spirit of the world. But what kind of spirit we got, son? But the spirit which is of God. That's the one we got. When you got the Holy Ghost, that ain't the same spirit these folk got out here. Amen. The Holy Ghost a keeper. Amen. The Holy Ghost is a seal unto the day of redemption. God come back to redeem the church. Isn't that right? Whatever we suffering, we going through now, God going to come back. He going to pay for it all. Isn't that right? Folk that do your wrong, folk lie on you, false accuse and misunderstand. God going to take care of them when he get back here. Amen. We ain't got no need to drop our head and drop no stone or trying to run with no world. Folk got friends tell me, I don't want to look like I'm too saved because then my friend to come in. I don't need no friend don't want me to be saved. There ain't no friend. That's the enemy. Isn't that right? Amen. Need nobody talking to hug my wife. Tell me, they, they'll leave me if I get to it in God. You ain't had nothing to know how. Amen. Isn't that right? Ain't going to leave God for nobody. Why can folk friend nobody? I'm going to leave you. You too saved. You already gone. Amen. Isn't that right? You know what? Something wrong with you. You love somebody when they rot, but when they get good, you don't want something wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Uh, thank God you got somebody you ain't got to worry about. He's been tipping around. Right. He's laying where he's been out there smoking that dough. He done throw that paycheck away gambling. I ought to thank God for a saved man. Amen. Same thing about say, I thank God for a saved wife. Amen. There, that's a good man. You can trust. You be like the brother. He said her heart do a simply lie in him. He trust in her. Amen. Same thing with that man. He can trust in a holy one. She's going to do the right thing. Amen. She don't care how many muscle shirt he wear. He ain't going to tempt her. In there, he don't care how many heart the tops and days of Duke she put on, not going to move him. Amen. In there, because your fear begin to be the fear of God. That's a keeper. That'll keep a man or woman. Amen. I tell you, I ain't out here tipping because somebody will kill me. I can go somewhere and tip nobody, nobody. But God, that's sin secret. He reward openly. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. He told the pastor, whatsoever you whisper in the ear, he said, going to be made known on the housetop. Whatever you do in the closet, he's gonna make, he gonna put light on it. I ain't gonna be around here and let nobody make no make nobody make me shame God. I ain't gonna shame God. I ain't gonna shame the church. I ain't gonna shame my family. Amen. I'm not gonna do it. Amen. Hell, my kids sitting around shame me. Somebody tell me, that's your right, no dad. No son, no man. I don't have a standard in my life. And I ain't gonna shame this church. Tell me, that's y'all whole monkey pastor, not me. Amen. Isn't that right? Too much of that junk going on out there. I'm not gonna do it. 
God been good to me. I already know when I put it down, I'm through. God through with me. I can't do like folk be picking God up, putting it. I done got a good hold on God. I ain't letting God go now. Too hard to get back. Ain't that right? You get out there that devil beat you. Then you got to start all the way back. No, sir. I got to come start from where I'm at. Keep saying, sometimes it don't look like you're going far, but every now and then, God lets you see where you come from. You say, I come a long way. Huh, folks? You've been there all that time. You ain't got there. You ain't got there. But when you can look back over your life and see how God is a keeper, you say, Lord, I'll come a long way. Lord, you're going to bless me with a whole lot. When 